Good day. Good day. Good day. Ladies and gentlemen, either or neither. How are you doing? Who gaat it? How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Ek, dit gaan goed. Dit gaan goed met my. I'm doing fine. And we are currently looking at weird words in Afrikaans, right? Weird words in Afrikaans, and you're like, what the hell? The beginning was a bit more enticing. The next one is going to be, most of these things would be, um, would be uh, self-explanatory, most likely. But we're looking at weird words in Afrikaans, right? Now I just need to go find uh, this thing. Here is my, it's like the whole looking for your mouse on screen. So a rhyme speaker of a rhyme, which is rhyme, kletzer. Now kletz, that word over there, kletz, is basically to speak, but it's more of a... Um, more of more of a slang type of word, you know. It's more of a slang type of word, and when you apply it to a person, usually there's an er at the end. Uh, when you found like like the word klets, you add an er, you're referring to a person. Um, for example, kak prater, right? Let me just do this quickly here. Let me just do this as a side note. I'm just going to do it this way here. So, to prot is to speak. Right? A prater is a speaker. We all know we're referring to a person here. Right? Um... We're, we're, we're referring to a person here. Now, if you've got uh, the word like cock, prat, you're referring to the action of talking shit. But if you're saying, he's a cock prater, you're referring to someone that talks a lot of shit. Like me! Anyway, let's get back to Reim Kletzer. Now, rhyme speaker. Now, you're thinking, what the fuck? Rhyme speaker. Of course, that is what it is, a rapper. Jack Parrow in South Africa is a rain kletzer, you know. Flight craft, that is the literal translation of that word, is flich, which is flight, or it could be fly, but we're not going into that now. And ah, you're going to see this as well. Flich teug, teug is craft, right? So, you're not going to refer to, well, voertuig, there's another one, let's, let's, let's do this, let's do this, right, we've got vliegtuig, right, and that is literally an airplane, flight craft, right, and now we get to feed craft, or voertuig. And you're like, what? A feed craft? Is it like, is it like a machine that feeds people or a machine that feeds an animals? No, dear viewer, not at all. But that is the more proper word. You can just say kar in Afrikaans. You don't have to say voertuig. But then again, you know, this is a thing. It's a car. Yeah. Now, now, now. Shoulder fly. You're probably thinking, oh, your shoulder is popped out, so your shoulder is flying. No, 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 no. You would be wrong. You would be wrong. Scour, which means shoulder. Right, which means shoulder. And flieg, there's that word again, which is an actual fly. Like the buzzing ones, shoulder fly. Now you're sitting here going, what the hell could that be? Now let me scroll down. I think it's this one. Um, it's a shoulder fly. Now imagine you're driving in a car and the guy in the back seat taps you on the shoulder. He's a shoulder fly. Yes, back seat 
Driver. Yeah, backseat driver. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Now... Oh, no, no, hold on. We've got look around tobacco. Raunt cake is look around, but directly translated, it is raunt cake is look around. But if you translate it raunt and cake, that's round look. Okay, but raunt cake twak. Raunt cake twak. Now, if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Look around tobacco is the whole... <laughs> yeah, we're talking about weed here. Rond cake twak weed. Look around tobacco. That makes sense. This one you might have actually figured out just by looking at it. And I'm going to do both of them, but it's not really necessary that this is more like a proper Afrikaans thing. Braki Saki Dog Sack Braki Saki A Dog Sack Braki is again a slang term for a dog. If you've been with me when I had Jamba on the stream, I used to call him my Braki Kaki because, you know, it rhymes. My doggy shitty. But Braki Saki is a dog sack. Now you're like, oh, are you talking about dog genitalia? No, 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 no. And then we've got... Oh, shit, what did I do here? Shit, I didn't focus here. Braki Saki slash Voof Cardus. Now, bark means woof. Woof. Like a dog. That's also the sound a dog makes. Woof. Right? And box is a proper, cardus is a proper Afrikaans word. Where is cardus? Is a proper Afrikaans word for box. You don't have to worry about it. It's just a funny thing. Don't worry about this. And that is what we refer to in South Africa as a doggy bag or even takeaway. So, for example, you know, it's a doggy bag takeaway. You finished eating at a restaurant, you're asking for a doggy bag. That's in South African. I don't know if it's a American thing or a European thing too, but I know it's a South African. You ask for a doggy bag. Always. I've always asked, even at Afrikaans restaurants, we've always asked for doggy bags. And that is basically it. Right? Now, this one... Spring, which is jumping or jump. Spring milis. Right? Spring milis. Jumping corn. What the hell? Oh, it's very easy. It's popcorn. And this next one is pop for flat. Brook for pants. Pabruk, pabruk, for flat pants. So, this refers to a coward who's got nothing in his pants, or spineless. Yeah, spineless person, or a cowardly person, or... It's basically the how I got to how I got taught. It was basically you're a coward. Ach, he's a pabruk. You're a coward. You know, you've got no nothing in your pants going going on. So it refers rather to the person than the pants. He's a pabruk. Pabruk me refers to the person than the pants, but it's essentially meaning spineless and whatnot. And thus, we've gotten to the end of our lovely Afrikaans look at weird words. Uh, next week, I'm thinking, I just thought about it, thinking of this. And uh, that's going to be the thing. And the plural thing, oh yeah, and then I need to figure out how am I going to pronounce it. That's what we're going to look at next week. It's literally the same sound, 
It's just dependent on some things. So we're going to work on it. Um, it's not a lot. That's probably a five-minute video, roughly. So we're going to try and do two videos next week, but long one longer one, one shorter one. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, either or neither, we've reached that part of the video where I say thank you, everybody, for watching. Hug someone you love. Tell them you love them. And until next time, have a good one.